What's up everyone, it's Kelly and today I've got another swatch review for you. So today I'm sharing swatches of the Starly Pie Day collection. But before we get into that, if you haven't heard of Starly before, they are an independent nail polish brand that is based in the US, but they are available internationally and all of their polishes are five free, meaning they are free of five of the potentially harmful ingredients that can be found in nail polish. They are vegan, meaning they do not use any animal derived ingredients and they're also cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on on animals. So they just came out with this Pie Day collection, which is three brand new nail polishes plus a set of stickers. And it has some pretty funny inspiration, which is pie. So if you didn't know, pi is the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. And I gotta say, I always appreciate Starly for their funky inspiration, especially when it's kind of science or math themed, just because I feel like that's so unique and it's so fun. So this one is definitely no exception. And of course, because it's called pie, we have a couple of uh, pie puns in there. So yeah, these are actually really stunning specialty polishes and I'm very excited about them. There's one that I think might be a little bit controversial, but we'll get into that. So let me show you the swatches first, then we can get into my thoughts on them, pricing, availability, all that good stuff. So roll the swatch footage. So as with all of my swatch interview videos, I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today I'm using the Starly base coat. Starting off with the shade Infinity Rose, this is the linear hollow of the collection, and I would describe the base of this one as sort of a blush nude kind of color. It's actually actually really interesting because I think in indirect lighting you definitely see this sort of dusty rose cooler tone but once you hit it with direct lighting or sunlight like I have in this video it warms up so much and it ends up looking a little bit more like a blush kind of tone and I was immediately so impressed with this one I actually got pretty nice coverage in the first coat it did cover up my visible nail line but I did end up doing a second coat just to make it feel like a full manicure, you know what I mean? But it was so incredibly holographic. I feel like Starly doesn't do that many linear hollows, but when they do, I am so in love with them. It reminded me a lot of the formula of their shade Crypt, which is one of my favorite linear hollows of all times. It is just so holographic, but this one was right up there. Super, super hollow. Next up, we have the shade Blueberry Pie. This one I was so excited about because I feel like this is definitely either a love it or hate it kind of polish. And as soon as I saw it, I honestly loved it. I feel like it's just so funky and kind of bordering on ugly pretty, but we've got this base that in the shade, it almost looks like this peachy beige kind of color, but when the light hits it, it's actually this gorgeous pearly blue shimmer. And then within that, we also have these medium blue flakies scattered throughout that just give it a really funky speckled look. So I actually loved the way that it looked in one coat, and I also thought it looked pretty cool in two. But just out of curiosity, because it is on the sheer side, I ended up applying three coats, and really, I love it every single way. I think it's just so different. Different. I do really love a speckled shade. I really do love a sheer nude kind of shade. And I feel like this hits both of those and I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. So super funky and fun. But one thing I haven't seen anybody try that I was so curious about was seeing this polish over black. And I'll be honest, I didn't have high hopes because I thought it was gonna look really patchy. Sometimes with shades that have a really strong shimmer like this, it just doesn't look great over other colors. But as soon as I applied this over black, I loved it. It's just this really gorgeous, deep, pearly blue, and then you still get those little specks of the blue flakies in there. Super, super cool. I would totally wear this anytime. And last but not least in this trio, we have 3.14 karat gold. And this one is basically the orangey sister of one of my favorite Starly polishes of all time, which is their polish AU, which is a really beautiful gold metallic foil shade. And this basically just feels so similar to that, but with a really warm orangey tone to it. The colors are very different, but the formula is the same and it's just so eye-catching and brilliant. I love how it looks like that yellowy gold when the light hits it, but other than that, it's just this beautiful, almost 
burnt orange kind of shade and I think it's so stunning. Starly definitely knows how to make a good metallic foil and this one is no exception to that. So here are all the shades together and I have to say for a collection that only has three polishes, they really hit all of the points that I love. We have that linear hollow, we have a sheer speckled flaky kind of polish and then we also have a metallic foiled gold polish and I just think they did an incredible job putting these shades together. The color story is definitely different, a little bit unexpected, but also the colors just feel very classic, like you could wear them any time of year. So I love that. And of course the formulas are amazing as always, so no surprise there. But yeah, let's talk a little bit more about my thoughts on this collection. So yeah, those are the polishes and I have to say I am blown away by these. I think the colors are absolutely stunning. I love every single finish and I think Starly just totally blew this one out of the water for me. The formulas were amazing, but the colors themselves are just unreal. And even if you're not a math nerd, I think you would really appreciate these colors. So like I said, they also came out with a little sticker set, which by the way, the packaging that it comes in is like a little calculator that says pi all over it, which is very cute. But inside there, we have a lot of stickers. This is actually probably the most stickers I've seen on a single sheet. And we've got a lot of math stuff on here. We've got little equations and signs. We've got pie charts. We've got actual pies <laughs> and slices of pie. And then we also have a bunch of just mathematical symbols. So a lot of really fun designs here. And I think a lot of people who love nail polish also kind of overlap into like nerdy interests or fields. So I think this is a really fun concept. Now onto pricing and availability. All of these polishes come in 15 milliliter bottles and they do have a wide flat brush that has a straight tip, but I still find application to be super easy just because the formulas of these are so opaque, but they're not so thick that it makes it difficult to move the polish around on your nails. So very beginner friendly of a formula in my opinion. But anyway, the three polishes retail for $16 USD each and the sticker set retails for $10 USD. And like I said, it comes with a ton of stickers so you can really get a lot of manicures out of this. They also are selling the box set which has this really beautiful little collector's box with the three polishes in it, plus the sticker sheet. And this retails for $50 USD. But yeah, I'm so curious to hear what everybody thinks of these. What do you think of the polishes? What do you think of the inspiration? What do you think of the stickers? And are you planning on picking them up or have you already? Let me know in the comments, we can chat about it. And if you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please hit that like button, it really helps me out. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And of course, a huge thank you to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer, Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals, Paula, Ken, Rosie, and Angel. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. I have a fun fact question for you that is related to this collection. I want to know how many digits of pi do you know by heart? I I don't know that many. Let me count. I know 3.1. So I, I know 10 digits of pi by, by heart, but I'm I'm curious to hear because I know some people know so many digits of pi. That is as far as I could ever memorize. But just a warning, if you do actually leave the digits of pi in the comment, it's probably going to get marked by YouTube as spam. So don't leave the digits in there. Just let me know how many digits you know. And yeah, we can see who knows the most digits. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.